U.S. Rep. Ron DeSantis announced Friday he's running for Florida governor this year, bolstered by an endorsement from Donald Trump and donors such as casino mogul Sheldon Adelson and Windermere timeshare magnate David Siegel. As someone who's a military officer, an Iraq veteran, a proven conservative, and then with the support of the president, I'm in a position to provide the leadership that can build on the great work Gov. Rick Scott has done to advance economic opportunity, reform education and drain the swamp in Tallahassee, which needs to be drained, DeSantis, R. Palm Coast, told Fox News. DeSantis, 39, a three-term Republican congressman whose district includes Volusia County and Northern Lake County including Mount Dora, could end up turning national attention to a GOP primary that was expected to be a battle between Tallahassee stalwarts Adam Putnam, the State Agriculture Commissioner, and State House Speaker Richard Corcoran. Coming from out of the U.S. Congress is not the typical track to get to the governor's mansion, said Lance Dehaven Smith, an emeritus professor of public administration and policy at Florida State University. But politics is more national with President Trump, and it could well be possible to run from the House as a national figure. Ever since the president's December, 22 tweet saying DeSantis would make a great governor of Florida, billionaire conservative power brokers including Adelson and heiress Rebecca Mercer have joined DeSantis's finance leadership team. Trump's support came after DeSantis became one of the president's biggest defenders by calling for an end to special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation of his campaign's possible Russia connections. Siegel, the CEO of Westgate Resorts, has been a prominent Trump supporter. He said DeSantis's close connections with Trump played a role in his decision to back the congressman's bid. I think all the contenders are great, I just happen to think DeSantis is the best qualified, Siegel said Wednesday before DeSantis announced. His experience on the national scene is a big help. But Siegel, who lost his daughter Victoria to an overdose in 2015 and has become a vocal anti-drug advocate, added, all things being equal. I feel he'll do more to end the drug epidemic than anyone else will. DeSantis's regular appearances on Fox News free media that doesn't require campaign spending have helped boost his name recognition with a Republican base that may not pay close attention to the goings-on in Tallahassee, said former U.S. Rep. David Jolly, R.S.T. Petersburg, now a political commentator for MSNBC. DeSantis may very rapidly take over the conservative lane Corcoran was basically running in, Jolly said. Obviously Corcoran needs significant financial backers but DeSantis is clearly getting the majority of them. But not all two prominent figures not on the list backing DeSantis are the billionaire Koch brothers, the owners of Koch Industries and some of the biggest Republican donors in the country. Jolly said the Koch's, who famously were lukewarm on Trump, are looking at who could get the most results for their favored small government policies.